you know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Can you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away. Okay. We are accepting donations to the food drive. Oh, nice! Yes! Very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Right up. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself.
drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Welcome to Space Research. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. Must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. To space research. Did you hear about Roger? You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school, to middle school. Okay. Please. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart.
Let's see. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. It might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-offy. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Harry, 
This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Yeah! <laughs> 
Better put out the fires. Sweet. I gotta bounce, but I appreciate the assist. All right, but the next post-fight piece is on me. <laughs> I've seen the questions about that new Emily May Foundation. Who are they? What do they do? Well, big picture, it's an Oscorp spinoff, which we don't love, I know, but the man in charge, Harry Osborne, has got a decent rep. At the very least, he hired my favorite bee scientist, AKA apiologist, Dr. M. Young. They're the foremost expert on colony collapse disorder and a pretty sick ukulele player if you happen to follow them on the socials. So, young Osborne, your foundation has a lot of work to do with repairing your father's legacy, but so far, you're off to a good start. Don't forget to pay your rent on the first, or, you know, withhold your checks in protest. Whatever, do you. Wait Later. Over here! We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that dead neighbor. No. <laughs> Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. All right. I find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, it's Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider-Man. Thank you. Hey, Clark, did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Fire and rescue's on the way. Just 
Try not to move. They'll have you out of here soon. Okay. Thank you, Spider-Man. Looks like I need to go up. So it's field testing time for my latest upgrade. My insurance better cover this right Clark, did you get the last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. Somebody up ahead a few minutes ago. Purple jacket. Make sure you help them. Hey, Clark. I just sent a new location your way. But this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? We're not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on it. Nobody here. the flame i just i just wanted out then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in painfully Spider-Man. 
turn. Thanks. So what's your deal? There you are. Hey! You never did like my smoking. Yuri? Low lives call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried. Where have you been? No time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Sand crystal. More Marco memories scattered all over New York. And the sandcastle competition starts now. And no cheating. You just had to make it hard, huh? Crack a crystal. Hey, that's what we're talking about. So I told the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. Marco was really laying low these past few years. Would have helped him if I'd known he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. We're suffering through a litany of problems right now. Inflation through the roof. Feckless government officials, and a country on the brink of a collapse. Spider-Man! Get the whip, Spider-Man! Watch your back! Hey! Need a dance partner? I've been waiting! Hope I don't get out of this! Squash the spider! Can't mess with us. 
thanks for the assist. Just trying to keep up with you. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man, we were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Glittering? Come on, man. Take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. OK, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Whoa, is that a real gun that actually works? insurance up up and you won't get away no 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 nice cloaking tech mind if I take a look under the hood I'll take that as a no. That's too close now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where is he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. But Scorpion is? Okay. 
Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, MJ. Did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait. This buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city. Like, whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just... vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I want to find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta drop one of them away. Find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. Correct. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic. We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. That's a lot of gear. It's like they're prepping for war. You cannot hide from us! Two of the blinds have stuck this man. Get him! Target acquired! Craven! That's their leader? Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. 
I'll send this to Genki, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yes, it's loaded. What are you using? Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. You want some fun? You hungry too? <clears throat> nice to sleep in. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking skills operational. Good. Beetles, talent drones, ammunition, rations. Hmm. Still missing. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich, or well connected, or both. gives you. He knows nothing but the hunt. Perhaps if you focus more on yourself instead of others. <laughs> Looks like this is the only way. A research lab? Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpower gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Craven's studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal. Ugh. That's... the Tiara Apitahi. 
One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess Craven could. Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Craven sure does his research. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa! And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. I hear you were not impressed by the Scorpion. <laughs> it's not that I wasn't impressed. Relying on who? Up there! Pick the spider! some answers instead of questions right now. That looks promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. I don't... Never gonna win best in show with that attitude! <laughs> nice, doggy, kitty, robot! 
No joke! Craven guy's putting together quite the team. <laughs> 